Hey guys, Becoming Viola here. I just wanted to show you something kind of cool. Um, I am going to show you today this mirror comb powder. Um, I am going to go ahead and apologize about the lighting. Yes, I know one hand's done and one hand is not. There's a story behind that. Um, but I'm going to show you this uh, mirror comb powder. This is number three from Daily Charm. And it gives you a mirror finish. Um, it is not a traditional chrome color, it is more of a mirror finish than a chrome, and you have to use it over gel. You do need to use a no wipe gel, and this is what I have today. Um, sorry if you can't really see it too well. It is Nail Bliss One Step Gel. It's got the base, the top, and the color. And if you don't have this and you just have a regular gel, you can use a regular gel polish that you have to wipe off as long as you use a no wipe top coat on top of it and put the powder on top of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint a thin coat of this. Remember with gel you always want to go thin and do more layers so that it cures properly. So I just did one quick coat on here and put my hand inside my lamp just, just to make sure it cures. Um, I usually cure mine a little bit longer than necessary just to make sure it cures um, perfectly through. I do like to take, especially on the first layer, and kind of tilt my nail display if I'm not working on a real finger. Um, so I make sure I get all the sides. So that was about 30 seconds there. For this I will do one more layer. This is a pretty opaque polish so I only need to do two. Okay, there we go. Pop that back in and let that cure. Now what the mirror powder is, is just a very 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 fine powder. Um, it's about the consistency of flour um, or like a buckwheat flour, it's very, very fine, finer than sugar, finer than most glitters, cosmetic glitters especially. Um, and you basically buff this onto the nail. So while your polish is a little bit tacky, even if it's a no white top coat or no white top coat or a no white gel, you still have a bit of tackiness in it. Um, and so that's how this adheres. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna give that one more round of curing just to make sure because it is a pretty thick polish. Now for this you would just need a little sponge applicator like you would use for eyeshadow. They do sell specialty tools um, for this little rubber tools. I don't care for those. I feel like it doesn't give me the best shine. This works perfectly well. You can get a pack of 20 at the Dollar Tree um, and you can reuse them if you're working on your own nails. If you're working on someone else, I do recommend to use a different tool because you don't want to dip it in and um, possibly transfer any germs or if they have anything like that. Um, I use a new tool every time. So one of these um, packs of 20 gives me two applications because I use a new one on each nail. All right. So we have our perfectly cured black nail. And this is the powder. Like that is exactly, I doubt the camera is going to pick it up, but there's so much of it in the air right now. And it's extremely fine. Just kind of looks like sand. So we're just going to take, I can use what's on the lid. Just Rub that in there. Very little is needed. You can already see that mirror finished paint off just from that tiny, tiny amount that I used. I'm going to go back into my lid and pick up a little bit more. And it's just magical powder. All right. And I will be doing these nails on myself, so you'll see these pictures on my Facebook and on my YouTube um, once I get a good peel-off base coat. So you can kind of see yourself in it a little. 
It's really cool. I'm going to show you without the flashlight on it so you can see you can see me waving in it a little. It's much stronger than a silver glitter polish or like the silver I have currently on my nail. It's much more pigmented, much more of a mirror powder. So it's very gorgeous. If you could see it um, in regular lighting or out in the sun, you can really see a reflection. And as, as I showed you, it takes very, very little. I was able to use what was left on the lid. So that's typically what I do so I don't overuse the product. I shake it once or twice and tap it out and then I just use the lid because um, you don't need much product at all. And then you would just top coat this. You can use a regular gel top coat or a no wipe top coat. It doesn't matter if you're capping it. Um, make sure you get the edges. I don't know how long the wear on this would be. I would assume typical gel polish standards of a week to two weeks. Um, but yeah, that's kind of fun.